cold in here? Nope, just really small. <laughs> oh. Stewie and Brian. For some reason, they're like uh, Internet's cartoon power couple, which is a bit frightening because, you know, one's a baby that, and the other one is literally not even in the right species. Uh, Lego. <laughs> That's it, Mr. Giraffe. Get all the marmalade. Oh, God, no! what are we doing here? Oh, we needed a weekend away from the kids. You know, just us. We have to get the out of here! Yeah. Say something about my mother. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, ah, uh, I never knew Biscuit as a dog, but I did know her as a table. She was sturdy, all no! four legs the same length. Thanks, no! thanks, that's enough. Yes, yes, uh, requiem and terror packs and so forth, I'm in. Listen, kid, there's, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. It's not easy for me to say. Oh, God, you're not coming out of the closet, are you? Oh, God, why does everyone always come out to me? I, I just wanted to thank you for everything you did today. I know this whole trip has been a mess. Well, it hasn't been all bad. I must admit, there have been some moments that were, dare I say, fun. We're off on the road to Rhode Island. We're quite a pair of partners, just like Thelma and Louise. Except you're not six feet tall. Yes, and your breasts don't reach your knees. Give it time. We're off on the road to Rhode Island. We may pick up some college girls and picnic on the grass. Mm -hmm. We tell you more, but we would have the censors on our ass. Yikes. We certainly do get around. Like, like a, a bunch, bunch of renegade, renegade pilgrims, pilgrims who were thrown out of Plymouth, Plymouth Colony, Colony, we're Rhode Island bound. Or like, like a group of, of a college freshmen who were rejected by Harvard and forced to go to Brown. We're Rhode Island bound. Oh, oh, me next, me next. I'm the dog. I'm well read and have a diverse stock portfolio, but I'm not above eating grass clippings and regurgitating them on the small braided rug near the door. I'm a pompous little antichrist who will probably abandon my plans for world domination when I grow up and fall in love with a rough trick named Jim. Oh! Uh... <laughs> Stewie! Bad boy, that's mommy's makeup. Oh, and you got it all over your father's favorite shirt. Now go to your room. Wow, the evidence is really piling up. Make any joke you want, you know I look good. Hell, if I was half the parent Brian is, I'd know that Chris's favorite ice cream is... Chocolate chip. And Stewie's favorite bedtime story is... Good night, Moon. And Meg's real father's name is... Stan Thompson. <laughs> and... three. Oh, wow, were, were we just hypnotized? Well, that's incredible, I don't remember a thing. Why do I taste crutch? Well, then... Let the banquet begin. Whoa, whoa, what the hell are you doing? Don't eat that. Oh, for God's sake, don't be such a nerd. Look, I'm supposed to keep an eye on you. If Lois sees this, she'll kill me. <clears throat> you can let go of my hand now. You can let go of mine. Oh, crap. Yep. Bruh, tell me why. The title of that glue reminds me of this one song by Ice J.J. Fish that we are lucky enough to have animated. Roll the clip. We be all night. The last thing I remember is our beautiful bodies get sticky like glue. Stuck in love. Ice J.J. Fish makes me happy. <laughs> Come on, Stewie. It's time to change your diaper. Uh, mind if I watch? What? What? Uh, no! Oh! What the hell oh. do you think you're doing? I'm cleaning myself. Ugh, you were clean 15 minutes ago. Now you're just on vacation. Why are you holding that infant's hand? Uh, we met on the internet. Shut up. Oh. Yes, he lured me down to the park with promises of candy and funny stories. No! Uh, get my back, would you? Oh, that's it. Ooh, that feels good. Did it. Job well done. And we're not stuck together anymore. Thank God. You said it. Do you want to hold hands on the walk home? Yeah, sure. We're gonna have to distract them. Follow my lead. You and I are so awfully different. And we're too different to ever be back. 
you think I'll ever find the right woman? Oh, God, I guess, man. Come on, dude, you're great. It's a fake. It's not real. I thought it'd be best for you to find out on your own, kid. I feel like such a fool. Don't even look at me. Hey, come on. You want to get some ice cream? That'd make you feel better, right? You want to get some McDonald's? You want to take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes? Okay, let's go take a dump in Mother Maggie's shoes. <laughs> How does it smell, dog? Does it smell like servitude? <laughs> Half torpedoes, fire! Oh! Do you think we were too hard on Chris tonight? What? Oh, God, no. Die, Lois. Word. Oh, no. No, no, I don't... I don't think so. Do you? Bruh. Oh, no, I just always feel badly when we have to be strict. Oh, did I remember to turn the stove off? Yes. You know, it's awfully dangerous for me to be walking around the mall at my height. I say, let me get on your back. Oh, for God's sake. Oh. Cold in here? Nope, just really yeah. small. <laughs> oh. To have intercourse with you. Uh, ooh, yeah, intercourse with you. Relations. Intercourse with you. Hoo, 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 right? Yeah, no, great. That sounds good. All right, sounds all right. Good. Yeah, groovy, yeah. groovy. Hey, Stewie, high five. Well, it's about time. Psych. Damn! Lewis, I want my graham cracker. Oh. Hey. Hey. You plain little dress up? Yeah. Yeah, good. It's fun to pretend. You look like Snoopy and it makes me smile. Oh, you've got a date. What's his name? Ha! Do you, do you see that? Do you see what I did? I made it seem as though you were a homosexual. <laughs> That's funny to me. I can be sexy. <laughs> look at you. Turn around, look at my fanny, look at my fanny, no, look at my no. fanny. Wow, I can't believe they didn't take you. Shut up! Or possibly psychotic, they're the fellas and the freaking FC. What is this? Possibly psychotic, they're the fellas and the freaking FCC. Oh! Did I miss it? Did he cry yet? Oh, come on, dog, cry for me. Yeah, there you are. Oh, yeah, cry for Stewie. Life isn't what you thought it would be. Hey, dog, when you take a break from reapplying your lipstick, how about taking me to the park? My lipstick? What? Oh, 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 right, 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 because of my... Yeah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. I see London, I see France, I see Stewie's unsightly chap. Hey, Gabo, I'm up here, up here. Your problem is, you think that just because you're not in control, nothing matters. Th that you don't matter. But you know what? You matter to someone. You matter big time! Here they come! Kiss me! What? Why? Come on, we no. gotta follow them. Stewie? Huh? Oh, oh. Uh. Everything alright? Uh, yeah, uh... Hey, listen, freaking shot in the dark. You wanna do something sometime? No! She's the only help. Writers are too good. These writers are too good. Hey man, hey look like shot in the dark, man. You you wanna do something later? Like <laughs> God! God! Oh! Oh! 
to save no scrotum, man? <laughs> no! Uh, thank you for this gorgeous day. And thank you for letting me share it with my good friend, Brian. It's you. Um... Hey, Brian. Brian. What? Knock, knock. Oh, come on. Knock, knock. Who's there? Your friend, Stewie. And he's no. always gonna be there for you. No. So, Brian, I... No, uh, what? I didn't say anything. Uh, I, I thought... Uh, I thought you interrupted me. Don't... Don't interrupt me. Are you okay? I'm as okay as your face. On that. What are you talking about? There's nothing on there. Which one of these is the horn? That's not it. That's not it either. Do something. Oh! Must be Quagmire's car. That's not it either. Do something. I'm afraid to press anything else. Kino, what the hell happened to my underwear? They're all stretched out. Oh, sorry about that. Me and the guys were using them to shoot crab apples at old man McCratchen's truck. We don't want raisins on Halloween. We want candy. Hey, Quagmire, aren't you going to get in on this? I, uh, kind of got my own game going on over here. Chris, do you remember your job? To try and get my shoes sucked into the escalator so we can sue them all. That's right, sweetie. I heard they're paying 50 grand a toe now. <laughs> The train. Now that was the way to travel. You remember that, Chris? Not at all. Well, what about that guy in the front? He's a grown-up. He's the conductor. I don't see no orchestra. That's a different kind of conductor. Okay, well, if he's the conductor, why don't he have electrical tape wrapped around him for safety? Also a different kind of conductor. All right, thanks for joking around with me. We're going to go check out the rest of the mall. What's going on with you, man? That's a human being. Sorry, sorry. My buddy sent me a bunch of Romanian porn, and now every girl I look at, I imagine throwing onto a table. Yeah, that wasn't really the backpedal I expected. Hi, I'm Brian. Hey, I bet lots of millionaires come in here and hit on you all the time, huh? No. <laughs> do we? Do we do, no. we do that a lot? Yeah, no. I guess it happens sometimes. Did you want to... Oh, bro, way to go in. That's, that's, that's a really needy approach right there. Oh man, do we millionaires hit on you all the time? Bruh. Oh god. Look at something? Already am. Hey, can I try that on? Good taste. That's our nicest men's ring. And I'll take your number. Here you go. Call me. What the hell are you doing? That ring is ten thousand dollars. Relax, Dewey. Yep. Seventy-two seven. And then red color. All I have to do is bring the ring back when she's not working. I'll get a refund and she'll never know. It's a perfect scam. Like Teddy Roosevelt getting to be on Mount Rushmore. I won the Revolutionary War. I won the Civil War. I gained possession of Guam. Nah. Nom, 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 nom. Come on, Peter. It's time to go home. Not now, Lois. I'm making ladies feel good. Peter, I've been on my feet all day. Let's go. I'd stop, but Catherine Zeta-Jones' big hands are on the back of my head. You know what? Forget this. We're leaving. You'll find your own way home. <laughs> what? Throat cancer? What? Oh, hey, how do you like my blowout? I'm pulling down so much charge, it's insane. I don't... Uh, I'm... Yuck. Lois? Oh no! I'm alone and lost in the mall! I haven't been this scared since the Silence of the Lamb! And I turn around and I don't know what happened to my wife and now I'm all alone and I'm just so scared! Okay, do you want to go look for your wife or you want me to finish the makeover? I guess we might as well finish up here. When I find her, I want her to go, Wow! Lois! Is your wife named Lois too? No, but I figured if she's banging a guy like you, I got a shot. Lois! Oh! Hey, oh! Oh! That's messed up. That was good. You... Lois! 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 Well, I've looked everywhere. Maybe she left. Paul Blatt, if you're out there, I could sure use a miracle. Choo choo! All aboard the Ladybug Express! Ah! Help! Ah! 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 Holy crap! Ah! 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 Wait! Don't close the
the wall like an actual Amtrak train. This is dangerously out of control. That's legally defensible, by the way. On your screen is a list of actual rail disasters. Good morning, I'm Tom Tucker. Coming up, the secret to remaining upbeat after getting an elderly waitress. But we begin with breaking news from the Quahog Mall, where a local fat man was stuck overnight on a child's train. Yes, quite an ordeal for Quahog's Peter Griffin. So, Mr. Griffin, you were going around in circles for 12 hours. Are you suffering any ill effects from the centrifugal force? The wind on my skin is like knives. Oh my god, Bonnie, are you watching the news right now? Yes, I'm so sorry about Peter. Oh, I'm sure he'll be fine. But did you see that sweet new piece of ass, Dallas, Portland? Oh, I don't know. Why don't you ask my index and middle finger? Peter, move. We need the TV. Is this... is this a coven? No, we're watching the news. Now get out of the way. We had a bottle of wine and a joint at Bonnie's house, and we want to watch Dallas, Portland before the buzz wears off. Your chicken heads are out of control. Yoga for men? Yes, says the inventor of Broga. Oh, I feel like I'm cheating on Tom Bergeron. That's who you're all excited about? That chiseled Adonis with eyes the color of Summer's first blueberry? I don't know about none of that, but look at that bulge in his shorts. I've never seen a bulge in the front of a man's pants before. You see that, Peter? That's the right amount of leg hair. My leg hair's fine. I have what they call the Irish wisp. So, Peter, where are your boyfriends tonight? Lois and all of her friends are drooling over that new news guy. That Dallas Portland's a jerk. Don't even say that name. Getting out of that windstorm that screwed up my hair and loosened my tie, but also trying to forget how mad I am at Dallas Portland. You and me both, pal. That Dallas guy sucks. Why, what's your problem with him? Eh, my wife's been creaming her spinach over him. Yeah, tell me about it. Since he arrived, our ratings have skyrocketed. They're grooming Dallas, which means I'm on my way out. What? But if Dallas Portland's on TV every night, my life's gonna be a living hell. You and me both. Without the news, I, I don't know who I am. But what can you do? He's the flavor of the month. But wait a minute. Maybe if we work together... Stab his ass. That'll teach him. And we can solve both our problems. What do you mean? Well, if he's the hot young thing and everybody loves him, all we gotta do is make you hotter and younger and thinger. And then they won't need him. All right, Tom, if you want to be young these days, you gotta do a wicked awesome GoPro skate video. Almost time for the news. Mind if I join you? I thought you hated the news. Developing story. <laughs> I like it now. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Quahog. I'm Dallas Portland. And I'm T. Homie, with the news in your mouth! No, 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 <laughs> no. What the hell's he doing? He's crushing it. I know what you're thinking, right? He's so random. Boy, no. I never realized how young and hip Tom Tucker is. Tom's about to tattoo the word Coachella on the bridge of his nose. Is that a thing? Uh, I don't know, Grandma. I sit back and walk. Ah, he got his eye. Ah. Never seen a guy so young and cool before. <coughs> Tumblr! <laughs> he yelled out Tumblr and died. <laughs> Scares. We'll be back after message from state-run industry. Peter, you were the one who told Tom Tucker to try all that nonsense on TV? You cost that man his job. Well, how was I supposed to know? Katie Couric went on TV and stuck a tube up her butt and they threw her a parade. That was a colonoscopy. This is kind of your fault, you know. I mean, you're the one who was drooling over that Dallas Portland. I was just trying to get that guy off the air. Peter, that's ridiculous. He's just some pretty boy who doesn't mean anything. <sighs> you're right. Poor Tom. Thanks to me, he's fallen even further than Charlie Rose. Today on CBS This Morning, we'll be talking about how much sleep you need to not be drunk from the night before. That's not what we're talking about. That's what I'm talking about. What the hell do you want? I'm here to say, I'm sorry about what happened. Let me make it up to you. I'm the one who made you lose your job. I'll find you a new one. Don't bother. I'm washed up. Everyone saw what I did. And besides, I... I can't do anything else. I was born to be a newsman. I, I want to help you get back on your feet. Go home, Peter. You've already done enough. Thanks to you, it's over for me. Like Billy Zane. 
Sorry I let you down, Tom. Oh my god! Look! I'm on the roof! Holy crap! Doritos Tacos is only for a limited time? And oh no! Tom Tucker's gonna jump! Tom, I got here as fast as I could. So, so what's, what's going on? It's over for me, Peter. If I can't anchor the local news, I have no reason to live. Look, Tom, Tom, before you do anything- Do a flip! <laughs> Bet you won't! Think crazy. You should know one thing. I have that exact same bathrobe. Hey, Tom, the camera's gonna be on you in a second. What the hell are you doing here? What am I doing? Getting an interview with a crazed jumper on the brink of suicide. This is huge! Wait a second. You heard wrong, Dallas. There's a jumper here, but it ain't Tom. It's me. What? That's right. Tom was just trying to talk me down. And if there's a news story here, the only one I'm giving it to is Tom Tucker. Good evening, Cohog. This is Tom Tucker atop a roof where a local crazy person is preparing to end it all. Buddy, Tom Tucker's back on the news. Oh, here you are. Tom Tucker's back. I know. Uh, tell us, crazy person, why are you doing all this? I'll tell you why. I'm doing this because I ruined a guy's life. And I feel awful about it. It's the only thing I can think of to make things right. I think I speak for all our viewers when I say, don't do this. Please, come down off this ledge with me. You got it. If that's what the most trusted newsman in Quahog wants. Ah, pigeon! Oh. <laughs> it's fine, he landed on people. <laughs> wait, wait, hey. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah. Hang on a second, Shelby. I can't hear you over my brokers. Buy! Sell! Buy! Buy! Wow! Buying and selling? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see you Saturday. I better go. My helicopter's here. Fadoo, fadoo. Bro, does that work? Maybe I should start trying that. The f***? Fadoo, 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 fadoo. Are you still, by the way, you have no idea what a helicopter sounds like. Are you still keeping up this charade? Yeah, but it's perfect. Shelby's already off work, so I'll just grab the ring and we can bring it back before they close. If you're referring to the ring that I thought was a lug nut, I ate it. What? Why would you eat a lug nut? I was dared. By who? By myself. I have low self-esteem. We should check in on this guy, more. Oh my God, this can't be happening. Chris, that was a diamond ring. Do you know how expensive... That was the greatest thing I've ever heard in my life. That was funny as f <laughs> that, that was great. Was? I'm sorry, Brian, but don't worry. It'll come out of my body sooner or later. He's right. I ate a dime once. It became a manhole cover for like three days, but then pow! Yay, like at a sleepover. I love you. It became a manhole cover for like three days. And then pow. Why are we at a health food store? Well, we got to get that ring out of you. And this is a place where people buy disgusting cereals to help them poop. Well, which one should we buy? I don't know. Let's ask. Are there any gray-haired lesbian art teachers who can help us select a fiber cereal? This won't take long. We know your large dogs are tied up outside. <laughs> All sex is rape! All sex is rape! When I first joined this cause, I was just trying to get this guy to poop. But now, we're this close to getting sex outlawed in the United States. <laughs> All right, Chris, nothing's gotten that ring out yet. That's why we brought you to this fast food roast beef restaurant. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Angus steak melt. I'm sorry, are you here to poop something out? Yes. Okay, this line is just for regular diners. You need to get in that line. Excuse me, is this the line for people who need to puke something up? I think this is just the poop line. Cheers. You know what restaurant we're talking about. I don't know what else to do. We El Pollo Loco? I only say that because I ate there when I was younger and it made me for like three weeks straight. Not straight, but like, like literally nine times a day for like three weeks. That's real. I was young though. We've tried everything. Brian, the jeweler closes at six. You don't have much time left to return that ring. You're right. You know, Brian, this wouldn't have happened if you were just honest with women and had an ounce of integrity. Don't pull rank on me. You ate a ring, you worthless tub of crap. Yeah? Well, who's going to be fishing through a tub of crap soon, you unemployed butt munch? Whoa, whoa, let's calm down, guys. Shut up, you unemployed butt munch! 
This is gonna be really cool because I have not seen this episode yet. So this is gonna be really freaking cool. Welcome everyone. My name is Von Giner and I'm Vice President of Creative Bankruptcy for the Fox TV Network, which at the time of this writing is still a thing that exists. Just from looking at your clothes and weight, I can tell you all watch a lot of free network television. Oh, roasted him. Am I right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excellent. As you may or may not care, Family Guy is in its 17th season, and since Fox is now owned by Disney, which will someday be owned by Netflix, which will someday be owned by Pornhub, we have decided that Family Guy is ready for a reboot. I thought they said it was a couple of tweaks. Yeah, we're supposed to trust these idiots? That woman has her finger up her nose. And that's still your reflection, Peter. Oh. Now, as most unfunny women will tell you, women are very funny. That's why our first reboot is built around the very pop- Bruh, I, I, I immediately love whoever wrote all this. As most unfunny women will tell you, women are funny. So we built this stuff. This is our time. This is a show song. Going to work, huh? Yes, Joe, I'm going to work. More and more women are doing that. Good morning, goddess. You know, I just want to say again that you were totally right last night to bring up that thing I did wrong 11 years ago. And please feel free to bring it up again anytime, even if we're talking about something completely unrelated. I will. Oh, I, I know you will. Oh, hello, gay couple who's constantly jogging. What are you up to this morning? Just adopting and pucker kissing. Yeah, we're network TV gay. So, all we can do is adopt children and pucker kiss. No tongue stuff. Isn't that right, sweetie? Mwah. Good morning, Judy Greer. Morning, Lois. How was your night last night? Great. I worked out, made dinner, a little family time, and had Peter's ankles up in the air by 11. God, I admire you. That's what you're here for, Judy Greer. Bert wants to see you in his office. It sounded hashtag serious. Ah, uh, meeting with the boss. This is going to be worse than finding a spider in the kitchen. Oh, my God, Peter, there's a spider in here. Yeah, I know, genius. Hi, Lois. I wanted to let you know I'm considering you for a big promotion. Really? That's amazing. Well, <laughs> the job's not yours yet. It's between you and one other person, Smarmy J. Ty Straightener III. Sorry I only satisfied you twice tonight. I found a pouch of Big League Chew earlier and my jaw is worn out. You did great, Peter. Good night, perfect. Bruh, that's a rough one right there. I just want this promotion so bad. Okay, so we are talking about it. You know what? I'll make a vision board. See my success and be my success. My testosterone is so low, I could not have thought of that. Would you like me to put on our sleep ocean noises with an occasional shocking seagull screech? Yes, thanks. I have a big day tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> May I have your attention, please? Now, I know you're all wondering who is going to get the big promotion. And I'm proud to announce that person is... Smarmy... Excuse me, where do I put this briefcase full of money? Uh, who are you? I'm president of Wine and Paint Night Incorporated. Lois Griffin just landed my account through her wit, charm, and professionalism. Is that so? Well, in that case, the big promotion goes to Lois Griffin! <laughs> What can I say? I love my wife. That's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Because I'm the funny one. Not on this show, you're not. Or am I? I, I thought we had one more face. What did you think? And please keep in mind that your spontaneous comments will affect the jobs of hundreds of people. Come on, you idiots. Don't screw me. The show was from a woman's perspective, but it still felt like it was written by a man. Yeah! Yes! Damn it! Many recent shows have found success by rebooting themselves as gritty supernatural teen dramas like Teen Wolf or Riverdale, which are watched by as many as 6,000 people a year. So we thought a similar approach might work for oh. Family Guy. I'm guessing we're wrong, but let's find out for sure. <laughs>
Sexiest <laughs> high school. Oh boy. Hey, Goldman. Great job with sports today. Thanks, Chris. We're almost ready for the important sports game. Hey, guys. Hey, Ruth. Good gender fluid shower? Great gender fluid shower. What are you doing here? Putting my gender fluid in the shower. Also, I'm the town sheriff, but you don't find that out till later because it's not relevant to the story. Patty, what's wrong? Why aren't you in class? It's your sister, Meg. She's dead. <gasps> I have to go. Wait, where are you going? I'm gonna go to a club I'm too young to get into and listen to a band that's on a label owned by the same parent company as the network. Hey, who left their gender fluid in the shower? Club, man. That totally seems like a club of today. How's the vegetarian lasagna? Terrible, even at the best restaurants. We'll have five of those. Ooh. We've been asked to nod our heads while the band plays the song our parent company is aggressively marketing. One of us is Richard Gere's kid. One of us is Richard Gere's kid. One of us is Richard Gere's kid. I'm gonna go get some air and pebble up my nipples. Word. Walk outside. Point your breast straight up in the air and just knew it wasn't gonna get mauled by a polar turtle or something that they're doing. Come on, black, black and these guy. <gasps> Patty, I'll be right there. I just have to drink a product placement beverage first. Peach Coke, stop, Patty. No. Oh. I hope nothing happened to the most disposable member of our cast. Guys, look! Oh! She's dead. Damn. Yeah, she, she did stiffen up those nips, didn't she? Y'all ready for your lasagnas? We're in the woods. Guys, it's time to fire up our superpowers because we're also lesser known Marvel characters. Chris, form of. Very large condom, obviously. That's what that is. And I'm your neighbor, who you didn't know was also a superhero. Are you here to protect Zack and I? Zack and me, but yeah. Now's when you find out I'm the sheriff. I'm laying on a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, best last words ever. He means lying on a pine cone. Now what happens? Now one of us will become a breakout movie star and leave the series wrecking it for the rest of us. Yay, it's me! What did you think? Pass. Okay. And how many of you would watch it if the girls were wearing white shirts and black bras? Peter, did you write the focus group questions? What? Of course not. And if you're impressed by the size of Alexander Skarsgård's penis, that doesn't make you gay, right? Answer him! <laughs> I'm going to show you one more reboot idea. Sometimes networks will cancel a show only to reboot it with less popular characters from the original, while the more popular actors go on to find greater success in movies or ugly public divorces. All right, so the characters is the stereo system. Got it. On which we used to rely. Lucky there's a family. Oh! Lucky there's a man who all the things that make us. He's a family guy. I'll get it. Hello? Oh, hey there, Stewie. Or should I say, good day, mate, since you're in Queensland, Australia, where you moved with Brian and Meg after mom and dad died. <laughs> no, still no kids, but I've been practicing a lot by myself. 
<laughs> How do you practice having sex by yourself? That's not, that's not okay. <laughs> oh. Hey, Maurice, how's it going? You ain't got no kids? Oh, yeah, man, I ain't got no kids yet. You know what I mean? Well, no female to have sex with yet. But I have been practicing a whole bunch the last past three, four months. I have been practicing by myself. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, that's a skit. That's at least a skit. Lucky there's a family guy. Someone to have sex with. Sucking on his own stuff. This dirty mother sex dumpster guy. Do, 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 do. <laughs> sex dumpster guy is filmed in front of a live studio trash can. <laughs> 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 Masturbating, yes. Between you and me, I think Trisha might be barren. Uh, Stewie, I'd better go. <laughs> Trisha's giving me that look. Chris, I'm standing here in the living room because I need to talk to you about something very important. Chris, I offer you a choice. You can either continue wearing shoes in the house or continue having sex with this age-defying Eastern physique. <laughs> No, I thought he was going to throw the woman out the window. I would have done that. Chris, I'm lying here listening to you toss and turn and wondering if there's something you'd like to discuss. I don't know. It's just, it's been so hard since mom and dad died. Chris, I'm lying here asking you to kick Joe out of the house. I can't do that. Chris, I offer you a choice. Oh! Can we please stop this? If I give you back my diet Sprite, can I leave? How did you feel about the show? I just don't like the people or what they're saying or doing. If you could sum up the show with one sound, what would it be? Blech. For me, it was more like the last squirt of a plastic mustard bottle. No! Bro, that is no good, bro. I can... If I could sum up this show in one sound, it'd probably be the last squirt of mustard out of a mustard bottle. That is so mean. Well, if you're all so smart, what do you want to see in a Family Guy reboot? Yes, unemployable neck tattoo guy. It's a Bible verse. Doesn't matter. Anything above the Adam's apple means drugs. I like shows that are binge-worthy. First of all, binge-worthy is not a word, it's a marketing tool. You've been brainwashed, sir. But fine, we'll make Family Guy binge-worthy. How's this binge-worthy? Oh, snap, they're gonna fight? Why is it zooming into his balls? What? What the f What? Season two? Hey, what next? All right, we only have the room till six o'clock, so what else? It's not six o'clock yet. Young Sheldon is good. How about young family guy? How about I murder your whole family? What about Bojack Horseman? Hard no. You get to be a horse. Hard yes. Normal words, but a horse guy. Can we please stop this? You just asked for specifically that. It's not six. What else? I like those Netflix stand-up specials. Matter of fact, we filmed one back when I was an all set up, no punchline comedian. So, any of you out there have a futon? Yeah, yeah, right. I Ubered here tonight. Facebook, eh? And how about that new chip and credit cards? The new iPhone is large. EDM music. Boo! You stink! Hey, hey, this is my job. I don't go down to Burger King. That was terrible. Netflix should make 800 more of those. The reboot is off. It turns out the executive who ordered it was just a squirrel who snuck into the office. But in fairness, it was the same squirrel who greenlit Brooklyn Nine-Nine. But I did like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, though. It was a great freaking show. It means Family Guy is just fine as it is. To Britain's most popular game show... Wheel of Politeness! Do go ahead, then. Oh, no, you first. Wouldn't dream of it. Too kind, really, I insist. Wouldn't be proper of me. I appreciate your courtesy. Likewise. Well, we're all out of time. Join us same time tomorrow if it's not entirely inconvenient for you. If so, of course, we do understand, and we do apologise in advance. This has all been an imposition. I'm so dreadfully sorry. 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 Sorry, everyone.
Lois, it just sounds like busy work. It is busy work. I'm trying to keep you off the streets and off drugs. I'm selling those candy bars. Hey, 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 you want to buy some candy bars so we can get some new uniforms for our baseball team? Where'd you get those candy bars? <laughs> the trigger again man i'll be premature with you man with these just fast hair trigger man i'm i'm telling you let's skate 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 my bad happy birthday you're the coolest well, then what are all the cars doing out there? Oh, they must be from Mort's party. Okay, the first rule of Jewish Fight Club is if somebody says, ow, you stop. Ow. Oh. Okay, let's see. During his 22-year reign, this French monarch known as the Spider King had an ongoing feud with Charles the Bold, Duke of Burgundy. Peter? Who was King Louis XII? Oh, I'm sorry, Peter. We were looking for King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. She is. Adults are stupid. The world would be so much better if it were run by babies. Tonight on NBC, shapes. <laughs> and then, colors. <laughs> Followed by an all-new Dad's Keys. <laughs> If he even lays a finger on my family, I'll do to him what I did to the Riddler. What the? He could be some sort of lookout who spots girls fresh off the plane. Yes, you're probably right, Brian. Such scum. I bet they target young girls the way army commercials target minorities. Hey, other black guys, it ain't so bad. Well, you just think you're so superior, don't you? Like that first creature to walk on dry land. Hey, where'd you go? I went for a jog. What's a jog? It's a great way to stay in shape is what it is. Is it like a swim? Uh, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's, it's nothing like a swim. Ah! Oh, no! You cut your forehead! What do we do? Hey, kids, if you have an open wound, get some dirt or kitty litter and rub it in there to stop the bleeding. Then get some sleep and wait for the body to heal itself. Now we know. And like I always say, remember, you know enough. That is no. No. <laughs> Number two. It's definitely number two. That's just awful. <laughs> Looking back on it now, I don't think our lives are so bad. Yeah, I sure do miss Lois and the kids. I'll tell you one thing. When I get home, I'm going to sleep like a log. Hey, I'm going to plug in the nightlight if you don't mind. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and ask you to not do that. They can do things to you that regular chicks don't even think of. Besides, you know me. I'm into a lot of different stuff. What, did you hear something? No, nah, it's all good. All right. Hey, Peter, what are you going to tell Lois when she asks where you were tonight? Don't worry, I got it all covered. <laughs> this is awesome! And Peter has no idea! Maybe it's time to ease off, huh? What are you talking about, Lois? Dad's getting drunk on Thanksgiving is a holiday tradition. I work hard to put a cornucopia on this table, and you're out showing your lower ankle to every Tom, Tom, and other Tom in our village. Don't talk to mother in like fashion. That's it. The belt is coming off. Ooh. Mm -mm. Come on, to the Peter Dactyl. Oh, no, now I gotta take care of the babies. <laughs> wow, my picture in the paper. 
I didn't even get that when I brought that kitten and gorilla together. Huh? Did I tell you, Lois? Oh, that's beautiful, Peter. She's taking care of that kitten like it's her own. Yep, I knew eventually she'd stop tearing him in half. Jeez, every cop in town is here. I know. Who do you think's taking care of the city? No. 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 What the hell? Come on! No drive. He's wet. Ah, we'll be all right. Hotel in Amish country can't be any worse than staying in a youth hostel. Hi, I'd like a room. Uh, preferably one where I have to sleep with my bag taped to my body. Uh, we have one where some Italian backpackers have laid out every item of clothing they own on all of the beds. Oh, perfect. Will my bunkmates be constantly talking about me in a foreign language? Yes, they will, sir. Oh, great. Uh, also, I'm going to have some mail delivered here, and I want it to sit in that box for four years. Oh, and what street is the bathroom on? I don't know who's crazier, these people or those Seventh-day Adventists. I'm a Methodist. We believe that the Lord is our Savior, and we remember Him by going to church and praising Him every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> hey, that was some good teamwork, Brian. We were like Lewis and Clark and the guy who likes to tip over canoes. Ugh, these rapids are treacherous. We should reach calmer waters by nightfall. Uh-oh! Earthquake! Hey, come on! Careful! Damn it, why is he still with us? I know. Until now, walking to the other end of the United States seemed like such a good job. <clears throat> hey, do you think maybe you'd want to hang out sometime? What, you mean like a movie or something? Yeah, or, or maybe lunch? I had a bad experience last time I went to the movies. We're good friends, aren't we, Milo? We're best friends, Otis. No! No! I reject the premise of this! Oh, son of a bitch, I gotta spend the rest of the day watching stupid kid shows? I'd rather watch paint dry. No. I am not turned on right now. Nice. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. I even gave out all my business cards. Call me! 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 Ah, show business. Oh, we did it. Your plan worked, Joe. I told you those guards would turn away. Yeah, Joe, that was amazing. That was easier than taking candy from a premature baby. Oh! No! I'm, uh... I'm just gonna take this. Oh! Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. I haven't been this disappointed since I lost my virginity. Oh! No! Uh-oh. You wanna get some breakfast or something? I guess this whole second honeymoon was a waste of time. Peter. I don't want to talk about it. I'm just going to watch British porn. You know, Margaret, we could have sexual intercourse right now. Yes, yes, we could. Mm, but let's not. We must stop Lex Luthor before he irradiates the world's supply of gold. Uh, hi. Uh, sorry. I know you got a meeting going on, but, um... So, we are officially running low on Mr. Pibb and cheez -Its. So, um... Just putting it out there, if you're heading to the store later, uh, you know, 800-mile uh, drive for me, like uh, five seconds for you. Whatever, I'm not here. This is the best idea I've had since I invented that soda. Gentlemen, I give you Crystal Pepsi. All the great taste of regular Pepsi, but without that troublesome opacity. Well, what, what if you're drinking a regular Pepsi and somebody's coming at you with a knife? Huh? You won't be able to see him past your Pepsi. And, 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 then, and then who's dead, huh? You! You! You're dead! Stabbed! Crystal Pepsi. All right, let's start the bidding. Jennifer, how much do you bid on the dinette set? Um, six seventy-five, Bob. Six seventy-five, Stephen. Uh, seven eighty. Seven eighty, Tammy. What was the last bid? Seven eighty. Seven eighty-one. You. <laughs> He's gone. Ooh, that means this room is mine now. Oh, I'm gonna party my ass off in here. Great pot, Stewie. Yeah, I got it from our cleaning lady's boyfriend. It's okay, though, because she's going to use the money to get a mammogram. And now back to America's favorite game show, Bobcat or Bjork.
Okay, Peter, listen closely and tell us if this is a song by Icelandic vocalist Björk or the rantings of former comedian Bobcat Goldthwait. Here we go. <laughs> oh, Bill, that's got to be Bobcat. Oh, sorry. That was Björk. Damn, I'm terrible at meeting new people, like the time I was on Blind Date. I'm having a great time, Stewie. Me too. So, uh, you ready to go grab some za? Uh, yeah. So, a wild guess here, but from the looks of your arm hair, I'm guessing you're Italian? Oh! Oh! Hi, I'm Wilford Brimley, and I have diabetes. It hurts me to pee, and it causes me to be short with my family. Homie said diabetes. I like that. I can't sleep at night. The other day, I stubbed my toe and took it out on the dog. And two weeks ago, I ran out of vanilla ice cream and struck my wife. And then I find out my wife's been dead for six years. Who the hell did I hit? This. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's laugh number one. Dang it! Oh boy. Message brought to you by the National Diabetes Association. Finally, I'm one of those guys who can't wait to get to work in the morning. Like a dairy cow. Oh! Oh! Oh, yes! Yes! Oh! Not a laugh. Not a laugh. Peter, the old schoolhouse is on fire. Let's go. One to twin powers, activate. Form of a hawk. Come on, Peter. Yeah, I'll be right behind you. Shape of Jaina's tampon. And now I play the waiting game. Well, I mean, that may be a little harsh. I'm not going to avoid Peter like the drunk chick at a party. I just smoked the wrong side of a cigarette! Who wants to go swimming? Oh, this song is about me! Man, this sucks worse. We've all smoked the wrong side of a tampon cigarette before. Oh, oh boy. We gonna we're gonna edit that out. It's to my 16th birthday party. Thanks for coming to my birthday party, Jake Ryan. Thanks for having me to your birthday party, Peter. Make a wish. It's already come true. Here's your present. Ugh. No, Jake, oh. not like this. Ah. Oh! No, no, you, you cannot tell them about this, please. Peter is not very discreet with private matters. Hey, everybody! Meg just had her first period! Peter! Shut up! It's three in the morning! What the hell's going on out there? Damn it, people are trying to sleep! I'm just saying, I'm proud of her! She's a woman! Yay! Yes, Peter, that's very hot, and I'll deal with it in the morning, but right now I am exhausted! Great idea bringing Stewie to Fenway Park, Peter. Yeah, there's no better place for a father and son to really get to know each other than a ball game. Uh, where is Stewie? <sighs> <sighs> <gasps> is that a baby in there? Oh my god! He's gonna miss the game! Oh ho 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 ho! Oh ho ho ho! Boy, Barney, it's sure been great hanging out with you. <laughs> I've enjoyed it too, Peter. Are you almost done in the John? Cause uh, we're late for jets. All done, Peter. You think you have a crap job? I tell you, this is worse than when they took away my library card for reading while intoxicated. Oh, don't be ashamed of your hand, Johnny Tremaine. You still live in exciting times. Oh, crap. Sir, do you know how loud you were reading? The life of a silversmith's apprentice was not an easy one! Ah! 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 Wow, no griffin's been this powerful since my ancestor, King Arthur Griffin. Oh, Arthur, if you are able to draw the sword from the stone and prove to me you truly are the sole king of Camelot, I will make love to you right here in the clearing. What if I can just move it an inch? Will you touch me? Oh. 
That's real. What I got to do to get it handy, huh? Huh? Is that... What if I just, I just show you how clean my armor is? Can I get like a, like a rub and suck? Like a just... What do I pay to just look at it? Just to, just to feast your eyes. And how much more than that do I have to pay to get you to feast something else? We're going to edit this out. Edit all this out. Oh man, this is even more intense than that time I forgot how to sit down. Your religion is an abomination. I never thought you could ever embarrass me more in a church than you did at your cousin Mary's wedding. And if anyone knows of any reason why these two should not be married, let him speak now. Really? Nobody's gonna speak up. I'm the one who's gonna have to say it. <sighs> All right. Genital warts! Will you relax? Oh. Plenty of people cheat. Once again, Ashley Simpson. <laughs> yep. Brian, check it out. I made a water slide in the house. Yep, yeah. there you go. <laughs> I'm not going to call the hospital because you won't learn anything if I do. <laughs> two laughs and two clips. Dang! Last number four, man. One laugh and we lose. God dang it. You know, Todd was 15 when he died. The dog we had before you. Hey, Peter, did you call me? Yeah, I thought we'd go to the park, Todd. Oh, you're not taking me to the vet, are you? No, no, just a nice day at the park. Uh, I'm a little worried that you're going to have me put down. I know there's been some concern about my sphincter's low shutter speed. No, no, we're just going to the park, Todd. Oh, okay, well, I'll enjoy the ride then. More stupid than that time you locked your keys out of the car? Damn it! Hey, 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 somebody, hey, hey, sir, 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 you see those keys there, sir, sir, oh, oh screw you. <laughs> Old people have a lot to offer society. Just look at. See me, I to open the door and then grab the coat hanger. And then put it through back through the window, then closed it, and then went back to trying to get my keys. Because I'm smart. Boom. Try to say your boy BHD ain't brilliant. <laughs> Joke's on you, baby. <laughs> Kim Cattrall. Mm -hmm. Come and get it, big boy. Mm -mm. Oh, damn. No! There no! we go. No! No! <gasps> Bruh. Hey, how's it going? I'm Peter. You want to go out sometime? Maybe get a Saturday night free? Yeah, yeah, you know what the hell with you then? Yeah, go to hell. Go to hell. Hey, I'm Peter. And what do you say you and me go get a couple beers, yeah? Maybe we could... Oh, fine. You know what? You got mosquito bite boobs anyway. I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't need you. Hey, how are you? I'm Peter. I got a coupon for Sizzler with your name on it. You know, maybe the two of us get you. Ah, you know what? I don't care. You're a. Well, <laughs> you know, Chris, I knew this day would come. Dang it. All right, that counts. Dang. So I brought you a condom. Use it wisely, though. It wasn't easy to obtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, hey, what the hell are you doing? Hey, give that back. Oh, man. Now, where were we? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is much better. 
All right, players, the answer once again is it was the first spacecraft to land on the surface of Mars. Ooh, ooh, the birth canal. Adam, what was your response? Kebert Zella. Dang it! I was close. I was close. Because they sound the same. Next time. Only saying his name backwards can send him back to the fifth dimension where he belongs. Alex Trebek. <laughs> well, Durwood, now you really are the big man of the house. Mother, change him back. You know, Andorra, uh, I'm getting a little sick of this crap. You ever seen one of these? Huh? You know what this is? Huh? No. Yeah, it's holy water. Huh? Yeah? Try it. <laughs> yeah? How's that feel? <laughs> yeah? You like that? <laughs> yeah? Power of Christ compels you. <laughs> hey, Stewie, three o'clock. <laughs> Number six. Oh, hey, look, we all know somebody that needs to have some holy water sprayed in their face. The power of Christ compels you, jerk. Time for the view. No, 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 not again. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I became a man. The operation was a success. What are you going to go by now? Peter. Oh. Out to see one now. So you walk into a store, you see the hundreds of options for candy, and you choose a Mounds bar? Yep. So what is it you like? The coconut? The chocolate? Yeah, both those things. How long you been eating them? Uh, I've probably been having a Mounds bar two or three times a day for the last 25 years. Jeez, no wonder you can't walk. You have total renal shutdown. Your kidneys are drowning in a stew of chocolate and coconut. Give me that. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, Peter, do you mind if I hang out here a while? I accidentally made eye contact with a transvestite at a bar, and he followed me home. You knew what you were staring at! Get out of here, you mess! You were far away! I didn't know what you were! You know you want me! Shut up! Now go home! <laughs> Nobody saw me come here! I said shut up! Sneak around back. <laughs> what do you mean, sneak around back? No. You were staring at. Get out of here, you mess. You were far away. I didn't know what you were. You know you want me. Shut up. Now go home. Nobody saw me come here. I said shut up. Sneak around back. Hold it. Hold it. Stop the tape. You gonna fart in this airtight booth all night? It wasn't me. We're the only two people in here. Hey, Bobby, can you play back Peter's track? This waitress is prettier than my wife. Oh, thank God. I thought you were still out on the road. I was, but then I thought, what was Simon without Garfunkel? Wildly successful? Yeah, but all that success would mean nothing if I lost my best friend. Do you, you think you can forgive me? Oh, Quagmire. What? How do I put this delicately? My hog cannot partake in the slop this evening. Peter, are you having trouble getting ready? Yes, obviously I'm having trouble. Well, somebody's got to have sex with me. Lois, don't say that. Quagmire will show up like the Roadrunner. <laughs> it's okay. Your vagina's just a painted on hole. A little more to the left. Come on, Quagmire. You were a Navy pilot for six years. Land this thing. <laughs> what the? Oh, Pina, that's new. Let me try. Eh, tie it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the great... Damn almighty, it'd be like that. Great Quagini. Hey, everybody, there's the birthday girl. Oh, oh, what's that behind your ear? Oh, it's a condom. Quagmire, please stop touching my baby with a condom. And for my next trick, I'm going to split my beautiful assistant in half. And not the way you think. <laughs> Won't be needing this. <laughs> <laughs> She let me drive a little bit on the way home. Just in the parking lot. But you were a good little navigator. Yeah, I just remembered I gotta get the hell out of here. We're willing to take that risk. Shut up, Joe. All right. I was hoping it wouldn't have to come to this, but you fellas are in big trouble. If, uh, if you could just move back like eight feet. Is that my whip? Hey! Is that my taser? All right, I'll just strangle him with this Hawaiian shirt. Will you stop going through my mail? How are we doing? Are we beating anyone? 
I waited too long to pick a partner. Struggling lately. Well, let me put it this way. Parents of a failing student say what? What? No, Peter, wait! Ah! Nope, too late. He said it. I'm marking it. Didn't get the woos. They're very smart. Asian. Maybe they didn't understand me. I don't know. The point is, Chris's grades aren't improving. And just yesterday, he caused a little ruckus in his history class. Alexander Hamilton was right! I just can't understand why he's doing so poorly. We here feel that the best solution is for Chris to attend something called vocational school. Yeah, you know what? Chris deserves a vocation. He's been working hard, he's doing great in school. No, vocational school is where less academically capable students learn a trade. Don't you have to be Italian to go to one of those schools? Yep, there will be plenty of those jokes later in the episode. Now, won't vocational school limit Chris's options down the road? Oh, hardly. He'll have a wide range of career options, such as the following. Dishwasher installation. Dishwasher repair. Those are three terrible options. Parents who are okay with this say what? What? Gotcha. That one's on you, Lois. Parents are okay with this say what? What? Why, Meg, don't you look pretty today? Thanks, Mom. She's going to ask you for something. So listen, I was wondering, do you think you could take Stewie to a birthday party today? The birthday boy was premature, so he looks like a 12-inch tall Rachel Dretch. Why can't you do it, Mom? Ugh, I can't take another party with that trio of judgy sitcom moms. Oh, hi, Lois. Gosh, I just love how you always look so comfortable. I know. Are those pajamas? And I'm the black one for unrealistic diversity. <laughs> I can't believe I have to go to vocational school. Does this mean I'm a failure? No, sweetie. It means that we're failures. Hey, I say everyone should share the blame on this one. <laughs> Crap. You know, I'm always at a loss for words in these moments. Fred Sanford, you want to do the honors? Go get him, you big nubby! Um, your show went off the air 40 years ago, and you died 30 years ago, so... That phrase means very little to me. I know it's a big step, honey, but you can do it. That's right, Chris. This family's never shied away from a new challenge. Uh -oh. Like when I was a spokesman for that perfume, Deschanel Number no. 5. Precious. Annoying. Twee. Hot, but not worth it. Probably a nightmare in person. Oh! Deschanel. The fragrance for when you want to smell like a 40-year-old toddler. That's very accurate uh, representation of what some females make you feel like. When you see her, is she pretty? You know what I mean? For like a distance, she cool. She cute. Kind of hot from a distance. We do a nice sit down thing here. Little piccata, little veal. Rocco here learned to cook in the joint. Okay, everybody, dirty up your hands. We'll eat in 10. Wow, this is way better than that barber school I went to where I couldn't stop pumping the chair. Just a bit off the top and shorter on the sides. We're just going to be pumping today. Mama! What are you doing out of your box? <laughs> hey, Megan! Oh, hey, guys. Wait, did you just call me Megan? That's your name, isn't it? Well, actually, Meg is short for something else. Hey, did you guys hear about that new kid? The emo Muslim? <sighs> oh. Death to America. No, this other guy, Mike Pulaski. He's a complete psycho. I heard he knifed a kid on the playground, then beat up the knife. I wasn't even, it didn't even scare me that he jumped through the door. I was like, she was like, yeah, he knifed the kid on the playground and then beat up the knife. What? The best way to disarm a bully is to befriend him. Watch and learn. Hey, what's up, my main man? Listen, if you ever need the scoop on the local babe scene, just ask. Yeah. I'll do that. Oh! Us. 
awesome. Hey, you guys want to sleep over this weekend? My moms are going out of town to a scrapbooking clam bake retreat. What are they going to do there? They'll just be scissoring stuff and eating clams all weekend. Sure, sounds great. Scissoring stuff and eating clam all... I didn't say fudge. I said Oh my god, I'm so sorry! What's your name, dude? Meg Griffin! Three o'clock, Friday. I will destroy you. Alright, so look. I'm gonna hook y'all up with a little story. I had this happen to me when I was in public school. And some of y'all know about me, but you probably already do. I was raised in the suburbs. You know what I mean? Up until like I was like 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 10 and then i got moved straight to the projects of cleveland ohio so yeah you know i mean bullying is way different in the hood than it is in the suburbs uh white kids they just when they bully you it's like like they rarely even put their hands on you most of the time they're just trying to you know scare you into doing what you want in the hood you get beat up first and then they tell you what they want you to do. <laughs> Bruh, I had people play the knockout game on me when I was a kid, man. I had, I was, I had just got out of Thomas Jefferson Junior High and I was walking out with my homeboy Nathaniel Porter, bruh. Matter of fact, I need to look him up. I see what, see what he looked like now. But he was like my road dog back then. And he was a pretty big dude. And we was walking out. We had stayed late or whatever. Because we did like some some homework, some extracurricular something. But we was walking out. We was the only two dudes walking out of the school. And these two gangbanger dudes walked up on us. And the first thing out their mouth was just like, all right, I'm going to knock him out. And you going to knock him out. And like. I was so surprised I didn't even move. And I look over at my homeboy, you know what I mean? Kind of like to see what I should do because I'd never been in that situation at that point before. And I look over at him and I'm like, hey, man. And that's when I realized that he was halfway down the block. He was he was fat, but he was fast. Like he was so fast. He ran on me. He ran on me, y'all. He ran on <laughs> So, yeah, you know I mean, like, you, you don't get a better example of what to do in that situation than running for your life. I ran to, you know what I mean? And luckily enough, I think the thugs had so much, like, jewelry on, and their clothes were so baggy, they couldn't catch us because <laughs> they couldn't run. But yeah, he ran on me, bro. I I can't even blame him. I if I'd have known, if I'd have understood the situation right then and there, and yeah, you know I mean the way he did, I'd have ran on him. But he beat me to it. But yeah, we got away. You know what I'm saying? I also had another situation happen when I was in high school. Uh, I I spilled ketchup on a dude's shoe, and and he made me clean it off, like in front of everybody. It was kind of like in this situation. I cleaned it off because I was like, I, you know what I mean? I I couldn't fight as a kid. I knew I couldn't fight. I knew what it was. I'm like, you know what I mean? And I'd rather clean. I was, and I already wasn't getting no girls. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't had no dig. I ain't had nothing to really protect. You know what I mean? I ain't had no self-respect or none of that other stuff to protect or whatever. I ain't had no reputation to protect. So I, I was like, well, I'd rather clean the shoot and get beat up. You know what I mean? It's, Two stories for y'all. Y'all welcome. I wasn't always the confident guy you see before you. You see, I too was terrorized by a bully. It was 1986 and the Cola Wars were at a frenzy. I was sitting in the RC section of the cafeteria when Tracy Bellings approached. Why oh! aren't you drinking Coke, you dork? Pepsi would also be acceptable. She was dyslexic. Anyway, that was the beginning of a long, abusive relationship. Ooh. Oh. It's one thing if you put your penis inside out in the safety of your own bedroom, but to have it done in the cafeteria?
To this day, I can't have sex with a woman against her will without thinking about rape. What? And that's why I'm gonna help you, Meg. I never faced my bully. I Ever since then, I haven't been over to rape a girl without thinking about rape. Yeah, because you see, I've been reading this novel about three guys, happen to be pigs, uh, that decide to build their own houses. So now one of them builds his house out of straws, right? Now how the hell do you build a house out of straws? And, and three pigs living together? Gay. You're, you're naked. I'm, I'm right here. Who cares? You're my dog. Everybody gets naked in front of their dog. Besides, you're always naked, except for when Lois dresses you up in that rain gear. Okay, everyone in the car, we're going to Martha's Vineyard. What about Peter? Why, why doesn't he have to wear this crap? Peter's in his crate. I'm actually relieved. The ferry would be overstimulating. Do, 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 taking a shower, taking a little break to bite at the water. <laughs> ah! Oh, hey, Brian. Don't worry, there's no blade in the razor, because I'm learning. Peter, what the hell? What? What's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? You're completely naked. I told you, I'm not comfortable with that. Brian, I can get nude whenever I want. All right, this is my home, and a man's home is his castle. <laughs> All right, Stewie, your dad's gonna help you learn how to be a man. Real men have a couple of beers and then project their inadequacies on their kids. Okay. What's that? You think you're better than me? What? No, I didn't say that. So I guess you think you would have been some kind of big shot by my age, huh? Done things differently? Gotten that promotion? I don't even know what you do. Well, let me tell you something. You're nothing, and you're never gonna be nothing. Now, let's sit here and watch Spike TV. Spike TV, full of stuff men like. You're nothing. And you're never gonna be nothing. What? Uh. Yeah, that stuff. All right, Stewie, we're gonna get you nice and pumped up. Now, you see that barbell over there? Go ahead and try and lift that. Uh oh, Spadudio. <laughs> having some trouble. You're telling me. Oh, your kid just needs a little help. I got something that'll get him going. Well, if there's anyone I can trust, it's a stranger at the gym holding a dirty needle. Here, Stewie, try this. Yeah, what the hell are you do? Whoa. Oh, my. Suddenly, I'm full of energy. All right, fat man, let's do this. Stewie, you look like a new man. Well, will you look at me? I have the power! We now return to Lady and the Tramp and Michael Vick. I knew, I knew it was going, I knew it was going to be something grimy. Lady in a Tramp and Michael Vick. Hello, family. <clears throat> Does anyone need the remote? Oh, my God. What the hell happened to Stewie? Yeah, looks good, doesn't he? Let's see that little dyke Susie Swanson beat him up now. Wait a minute. How do you know she's gay? Short haircut, stubby legs, doesn't respond to my advances. I haven't answered my... Why the hell does Stewie look like this? Well, I took him to the gym, and the colorful gent there advised me that I put him on steroids. And you listened to him? Yeah, I believe everything everyone tells me anywhere. Ah! What's going on, B minus? What's a heps? Stewie, you look gross. You look like Lou Ferrigno's poop. I look like a guy who's been hitting the gym. It has nothing to do with the gym. You're on drugs. Doesn't matter how you find the pot of gold, B to the Ryan. All that matters is that you beat the leprechauns. That doesn't make any sense. Doesn't have to make sense when you look like this. Ooh, I am hotter than phone sex with a blind girl. What? You guys are going to love this spa. They give the best massages. Your whole bodies will feel like Joe's legs. Wow. That would be nice for a short period. I tell you, I need this. I've had a really stressful morning. Don't take fame, don't be this train. This is sometimes, but I'll see you. That's the power of love. 
How is that stressful? Oh no! G get out! Get out! Scan! Ah, <sighs> this is more like it. So we just gonna skirt the fact that he has a vase-shaped penis growing out the back of his back. Out the back of his back. I ain't gonna say nothing. Okay. Oh, this is long overdue. There's nothing like a good suit massage. Focus on the lapels, that's where I carry most of my stress. Oh, that's easy, John Forsyth. Yeah, John Forsyth. John Forsyth, absolutely. It's so funny, I would also say John Forsyth. I was just curious. Yeah, I mean, Sean Connery is just so... Uh-oh. Oh, God, I am so sorry. It's too late. The damage is done. Yeah, why didn't they just fly the Eagle to Mordor instead of spending three movies walking there? Well, that's not what it's about, Chris. It's about the quest. Well, I'm not arguing that with you. I'm just saying there's a... If a fat kid like me with one finger up his nose is bumped by it, you'd think someone would have caught it. So you, you didn't like the Eagle. All right, guys, the best thing you can do for your body after a massage is hot coffee, alcohol, and Slim Jims. Oh, Dad, I'm glad you're here. There, there's something I need to ask you. What is it, Chris? Well, um... Today, in gym class, I noticed one of my testicles went up inside my body, and it hasn't come back out yet. And I'm a little scared. Uh, sir, this employee just made a sexual remark to me. No, Dad, I'm, I'm really worried. See, look, is that normal? Ha uh, ha, uh, sir, sir! Unlimited free gas for a year? Just because I threatened to sue you? Well, that, and you're not the worst-looking guy who's ever come in here. That's what I wanted to hear. Yeah, everyone except Brian, because he bought a Prius. What a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I miss? Are we laughing at Brian? Ah, uh, Brian, you suck. <laughs> what the devil is in here? You damn fool! You're more useless than Aquaman! <laughs> help! Somebody help! Rape! Scream all you want. Nobody can hear you out here. I can. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're gonna be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Ah, oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help! He's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. <laughs> Come on, man! Oh! oh. Oh, uh, well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. What, what, what the? What the? Come on, bro. <laughs> That's not okay. <laughs> oh. I opened this door. You seem to be in some ridiculous vehicle you've inexplicably acquired. I got this at a NASA auction for next to nothing. They were going to scrap it because there's some minor mechanical problems or something. Instead, they sold it to me. Very simple explanation. <laughs> How was it, Dad? Oh, mind-boggling, Chris. Barreling around the Earth at five miles per second, watching the sun rise over the Sea of Japan, it's indescribable. Plus, I had lots of time to masturbate, which in space is great, except after a while, it's like living in a snow globe. I mean, we could take a family vacation. Yeah, that's a great idea, Mom. <laughs> That didn't count as a laugh. I did not laugh. From Lost. No, I don't want to listen to Matthew Fox's heavy breathing. <sighs> Hand me that paper bag. Jack, that's got my poop in it. I know. I know. It's got a hint of coconut in it. And something else. But that's part of the mystery. Everybody up! We're going on vacation! Kyle leaves at 6 a.m. sharp. You're tired, Stewie, but you can sleep all you want in the car. So, if you're cruising along the left side of the road at 120 kilometers per hour in the heavy desert, turn up the decibels, because it's Shalem Mami with Zechech Malech on 103.2, the Hach. What's what? with all those birds? Why does this sound like he was hawking one big loogie that entire video? 107, the Hach. 
birds. My tropical bird collection, just in case, stupid woman. Peter, you are not putting those birds in a car. Oh, well then, I guess we're not going on vacation. Oh, good, then I'm going back to bed. All right, everybody, off we go. We are going to have such a great time. Hello? Hey, Peter, what's up? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Just taking the family on vacation. Oh, that's good. Oh, hang on a second. I'm stuck behind some fat ass driving too slow. Come on, stupid, move it! Now, hang on, Quagmire. Some jerk behind me is honking his horn. <sighs> Lewis? I'm awake, Lewis! Lewis! Where the devil is everyone? This place is more deserted than James Gandolfini's workout room. Just waiting for my breakfast. Lois! I know how to get her attention. Lois! I'm about to drink my first soda! Better come stop me! Mmm, that must be the sugar. Oh, God, that's good! <laughs> oh, now I'm sad. It really used to be like that when I was a kid, yo. Like, when my parents left me home alone, I'd just run around and mess with everything that I knew I wasn't supposed to. It's nowhere near the same when it's your house. I'll tell you that. They're gone. I'm all alone. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm going to take Brian's novel and replace every use of the word and with the word fart. Well, let's see what fascinating pubescent treasures Chris has got hidden away. Ooh, Hustler magazine. I finally get to see what a vagina looks. Ah, ah, oh, God! Brian, do me a favor and check on Stewie, would you? He's fine. That drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leads. When the night has been too Just remember, in the winter, far beneath the bitter snows. I've never heard this song before. What the hell is this? Is this a real song? Lies the seed that with the sun's love. Okay, that was good. That was good. Chris, I think you were a little early at the start of bar four. Um, I don't know. How'd that sound from your end? Sounded great out here. You want another? No, if that works for you, we're fine. All good on my end. All right, that's a take. Ground zero. So this is where the first guy got AIDS. Peter, this is the site of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. So you're saying we need to invade Iran? Wake up, Stewie. Let's get you out of that seat and into a fresh diaper. <gasps> oh, my God. Peter, Stewie's not in the car. Oh, my God, we must have left him at home. God, I would give anything to see his face right now. He's, he's probably all like, where, where the deuce is everyone? <laughs> well, I, I, can't, I can't really do a good Stewie. Oh, my God, what kind of a mother am I? Peter, we got to go home right now. Oh, great, Lois. Now we got to bail on the whole vacation. This sucks. Well... Okay, I guess so. Yeah, Quagmire and Cleveland are great with kids, like Robin Williams and Patch Adams. Huh, everybody's lying around in here. Liar, liar, pants on fire. What am I in Congress? Huh, huh. See, laughter is the best medicine. Please, sir, I'm in so much pain. Shut up and listen to my material. Huh, what's this? <laughs> Bedpan, Peter Pan. Oh, next stop is Neverland. Come, Wendy, fly with me. <laughs> what? Hey, Crashy. What are you doing down there? Well, Rupert, we're out of food, diapers, and just about everything else. Which means I've got to get a job. Otherwise, we'll be in worse shape than morbidly obese Albert. Look on the bright side. Now you get your shoes half price. Ha, ha, ha. All right, maybe I'll have one. Of course, how hard can it be? You just unfasten these things, then lay back with your legs in the air and let nature do the rest. Hmm, it's still there. Usually the dude has disappeared by now, but it hasn't. It's just sitting there like Joseph on his wedding night. Happiest night of my life, honey. Really memorable. 
Stewie, you in? Yeah, that honeymoon looked like it sucks. In there? You think he's here? <laughs> oh God, it's Cleveland and Bob Hope. Oh well, the damage is done. Better get him out of here. These buttons at the top control volume, channel, and the power on your receiver. To see what else is playing, just press guide, and then scroll through the on-screen menu by pushing the arrow button. Or to scroll even faster, use the channel up or channel down button. Is there anything that doesn't give you a boner gland? People who use the word rubbish when they mean garbage. Really? Yep, not even a wiggle down there. Your shows will appear on my playlist. Peter, it's been eight hours and I haven't heard back from Cleveland or Quagmire. I even tried Joe. This is my wheelchair. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Oh, this sucks. I want to see the Grand Canyon. I'm sorry, but we are not leaving Stewie by himself. We're going home. Professor, you've got to impregnate this elephant or the entire species will become extinct. You mean I gotta put this thing in that thing? Well, this is a job that's not worth the money. Peter, watch the road. Lois, get off my back, will you? I'm trying to watch TV. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome to McBurger Town. Can I take your order? Stewie, you've got to clean the bathroom. No, no, I'm not going back in there. Stewie, I'm not giving you a choice. You've got to go clean that up. No, no, it was literally only on the floor. All right, there was no attempt to get near the toilet. Go! Uh, actually, no, Lois. There was a guy inside selling shower curtain rings, so I bought a bunch of those. Peter, that was the last of our cash. These ones have helium in them, so they're very light. You are unbelievable. The last four days have been a living hell. Our baby is at home all by himself, yet instead of getting us home, you've managed to make things worse at every turn. You want to hurt me? Go right ahead if it makes you feel any better. My friends like me. Because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. <laughs> Movie references. Guys, I found us a ride to Quahog in the back of a truck. Hurry! Ah, oh, thank God. Waka waka! <laughs> I once knew a guy who was so Arab. How Arab was he? Uh, he was so Arab that everybody liked him and there was nothing funny about him at all. Oh, yeah, what's up, Eric? Everything okay? Yeah, just come into my office. Stewie, Shawanda said she saw you sneaking food. What? She said she saw you in the back of the kitchen sneaking a fish sandwich. Oh, come on, dude. J yes, okay, but, but the thing was five minutes past the throwout time. Well, be that as it may, Shawanda took these pictures on her cell phone. We're broke, Rupert. I'm jobless, there's no food left, I'm out of diapers, and I'm down to Meg's last hat. We're doomed, you know. Let it be written on my tombstone that my life was considerably better with my family around. And I didn't realize it until it was too late. Mommy! Daddy! Chris! Dog! Brian! They're home! Oh, Mommy, thank God you're home! Oh, Stewie, my baby! I promise with all my heart that I'll never say or do anything bad to you for the rest of the evening. By the way, I disabled the V-chip and I watched so much porn. Oh, sweetie, I'm so glad you're all right. And remember, for answers to any questions you may have, you can consult the on-screen help menu, or 24-hour online assistance is available at www.directtv.com. Welcome to the DirecTV Help Channel, your destination for getting started with your new DirecTV system. Fuck, 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 fuck! Too many people get away with injustice, like the folks you meet in those Louisiana swamps. Excuse me, do you know how to get to town? Yeah, it's back the way you came. <laughs> I'll testify against you, just like I did against Michael Jackson! Stewie, did Mr. Jackson behave inappropriately toward you? Well, yes, but the worst part was he never called back. <laughs> No, but uh, in all seriousness, yeah, he was actually pretty aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrifying. Look at the spider in Charlotte's web who had to overcome Tourette's. <laughs> oh, what did that kid do to her, man? That kid, she's like 11. What did she do? Do my best to make her even happier than those kids on Three Wishes with Amy Grant. What's your wish, Billy? Can you cure my cancer? No, but how about if Spider-Man gives you a $50 gift card to Sears? Here, get well.
Oh. Wow, you, gosh, you're making me feel more important than a dwarf among midgets. Hey, can you reach the Crispix? Yes, I can. Look at Iceman. Honey, where'd you go when you went out last night? Uh, just over to Tom's house. Played some poker, had some brewskis, you know. Really? Then would you mind explaining that? Oh! <laughs> oh! At least they know how to touch a man. Oh, walk away. You remember that favor I did for that park ranger? Hey, Boo Boo, let's see what we got in this picnic basket. Oh! No! <laughs> no! Tell the other bears what you just saw. Hey, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Come on. <laughs> Do math. Face it, Brian. She's dumber than a ball. That is so amazingly racist. <laughs> Come on. Do math. <laughs> Austin area book report. The novel I chose to address is All of a Twist by Charles Dickens. Queer name, right? The book was actually not bad. Hey, you could really make a difference, like I did when I taught money management to those drug addicts. There's a lot of ways for you guys to save money. For example, you're all shooting up, why not share needles? That's a no-brainer. More money in your wallet, more drugs in your veins. My second piece of advice, have as many kids as you can, because that makes it more likely that one of those kids will grow up and make it big in Hollywood. I actually can't uh, go against that one. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure that's how my mom feels now that I've, I've uh, uh, not made it yet. You just got to just hope. That, that somebody's seed isn't venomous, you know, because it usually is. The person I'm looking at knows who I'm looking at right now. And who's paying the bills, eh? Hollywood kid. Class dismissed. Yeah, she's all smoke and mirrors, just like Harry Houdini. But I don't want to play bridge with the Petersons tonight. Harry, we agreed weeks ago, and we're going. All right, fine. Let me get my coat. Oh, wait a second. Damn it, I am not going by myself. Ah, you... My God, I'm cooler than that cheetah from the commercials. Even my backup guy had plans. Hi, Jimmy. Um, I heard you didn't have a date to the dance, and I was wondering if you'd like to go with me. Oh, uh, I, uh, hang on. I'd love to go, Meg, but I have to go to my little brother's funeral oh! that night. Meg's just cool. You know what's really messed up? I feel bad for unattractive females, because I feel like they really go through that. Because attractive females only come through if you trick them into believing they're about to have the time of their life. It's really funny because I'll go places and I'll see just jacked up looking females with dudes and you just know they have no better options on the table at all. If you get boring around an attractive female, a female that has options, she'll excuse herself and leave, right? But an attractive chick just sit there, just... So you know what this is. <laughs> it's good to have some of those on your team. <laughs> Cool as the other side of the pillow. <gasps> Billy D. Williams. Hello, Peter. Welcome to the cool side of the pillow. You've had a hard day. Rest that weary head of yours and drift on off to dreamland. <sighs> Works every time. This is going to be worse than that time I was stuck behind Robert Lozier at the airport. May I have your name, please? Robert Lozier. Can you spell that for me? Certainly. That's Robert Lozier. R as in Robert Loja. O as in Oh my God, it's Robert Loja. B as in By God, that's Robert Loja. E as in Everybody loves Robert Loja. R as in Robert Loja. T as in Tim, look over there, it's Robert Loja. Space. L as in Look. If I can just get it to hit me one more time, it'll give me the rush I've been looking for. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's next? What's next? What's next? Oh, God, I've been so bloody naughty. Oh, I need to be taught a lesson, and you're the one to do it. Ah! 
Oh, thank you! Thank you! Boy, this sounds like more trouble than a moose on the interstate. Hey, can you help me out? I'm trying to get a couple of bucks for something to eat. What's moose stuff? Well, whatever you want it to be. I could have sex with you, or I could just stand over there and drink from the lake. And everything in between. Get in. <laughs> Hey, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes the best relationships be interspecies relationships. I don't partake myself, but I also don't hate. You know what I mean? Like if somebody, you know what I mean? If you're trying to get your moose on real quick. I, I, I once had a homeboy, swear to God, he was smashing a baby llama. My producer right now, he's shaking his head no, but I'm not lying. I went to his crib, I hadn't seen him in like seven years, right? This is one of the homies from back in the old cyberpunks days. We used to play video games together. Went to the homie's house and no cap, he came out of his room. And behind him, two minutes later, a baby, it was like a goat or a llama or something, it was a baby. And it came and walked out behind him. It was like bad, but like to me, something about the way it, it said bad was hella suspect. He was a hunter too. So I'm like, what you got a lot? You, you eat animals. What you got one in here for? You know what I'm saying? Cause they say 10% of the women you run into is going to be just your type. And maybe he had been just like slaying up mad animals and stuff. And then he ran into like a, 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 a one that just hit that 10%. And then he was in there. Now I don't ask me why it was a baby llama, which it was the question I had but didn't ask him because he was bigger than me. It was still really, really, really sus. And what's really messed up is only half of this is a joke. I really couldn't ask him what he was really doing with that baby llama. I really didn't want to ask him because what if he was really getting it in? He ain't gonna say yes. I wouldn't. Not that I've thought about it a lot of times, but I, I'm just, you know, because humans be fickle. You just give it that food pouch, Stroke her back a little bit, that furry part, and she just, 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 everything else is just complete compliance. What? We're not even 10 minutes into the video, you're already talking about f***ing animals. I didn't say it. I just- No, you just gave advice on how to do it. What? Look, look, I am for the people. Different strokes for different folks. No, homo. Need to stay away from the petting zoo. <laughs> Yo, it was just something about that line. It was weirdly territorial. Every time I got close to the homie, it bad at me aggressively, like I was a threat. I had questions I couldn't get answered because I was scared, you know? We gonna edit this out. We gonna edit all this out. We gonna edit this out. And to each his own. I better just not catch nobody inside my cats, man. I, I, you better bite it off, felonious. <laughs> That's what I tell my cats because his name is Felonius P. Hollingsworth. You better rip it off. Sink your teeth directly <laughs> to the tip. <laughs> We're going to edit that out. We're going to edit that out. We like those people who sit in Starbucks and publicly write on their laptops. Hey, getting some writing done there, buddy? Yeah, setting up in public so everybody can watch me type my big screenplay. Me too. All real writers need to be seen writing, otherwise what's the point, right? You should totally write that down. Okay, will you watch me? Tita, remember we tried to open that restaurant and we never quite got it going. Yeah, we got shut down because of my exploding cupcakes. Mmm, I hope these taste as good as they look. <gasps> Gerald! <laughs> The secret is in the frosting. What the? F but I'll never tell. After all, I'm the only one in this family with any business experience. All right, Violet and Pigpen, you've been seeing each other a few weeks now. What seems to be the problem? I keep getting. Why does Pigpen look like he just shit on himself and never took care of that? Just constantly stewing in his own juices. Just, just, just no f's given. None. Just completely unbothered. Look at his face. Doesn't care about none of this. Getting bladder infections, and I don't know why. Really? You don't know why? Like when I had that job feeding the homeless. That's gonna make you big and strong. Burping time. Oh, smells like someone needs to be changed. When was the last time you were changed? Seven days ago? That's one week. There are seven days in a week. 
I love you, filthy hobo. Politically, they're all stubborn as a mule. Nope. Sorry. Kevin Bacon wasn't in Footloose. What? Of course he was. No, he wasn't. You lose. Of course he was. He was the star. Nope, he... you're wrong. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. It's common knowledge. Nope. He was on the nope. cover of No nope. People magazine nope. when the movie nope. came. Everyone nope. knows Kevin nope. Bacon was a star nope. of Footloose. No, nope. it, it was nope. a huge movie. Nope. He was the nope. lead. No, 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 no. I've had an argument with a person like that before. I'll tell you, I didn't win. Even though I was right, I didn't win. You don't know why? Because stupid people will drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. That's real. I always thought I'd die having to sit through the Canadian Film Festival. I don't wish to cause you any harm, and I won't. The end. You'll be kept as healthy as a horse. So, how's that leg doing? Uh, great, great, never better. Good. Why don't you try putting some weight on it? Uh, sure. Yes, yes, oh, that's good. That feels good, very strong. Sorry, Thunder, I gotta put you down. How's your leg, huh? How's your leg? You ready to race? Huh? That's how you do in the hood. We now return to Hotel TV, the station that makes you feel like you're at a hotel when you're not at a hotel. Have a romantic drink by the concourse fountain, or you can watch the big game at Chopper's Bar and Grill, where they'll be pouring till 2 a.m. Or maybe you're in the mood for something a little more exotic. Try Jose Gato's Brazilian Steakhouse with... Oh my god, that's terrible about Haiti. We gotta do something to help. No, we don't. Relax, I'm sure Wyclef Jean has got it all under control. I've always talked about wanting to help in these situations, but I never follow through. Well, this time I'm really gonna do it. I'm gonna start a blood drive. Good for you, Lois. You'll be a local hero, like Paul Revere. Wow, Lois, you really got a great turnout for the blood drive. Oh, yeah, the whole thing's going off without a hitch. Except for that mosquito who keeps trying to sneak in. Hi, I'm the new nurse. Get out of here! This blood's not for you! Ah. Oh, look, an empty tire with some water in it. All right, I'm happy again. Stewie, what's going on? You should be asleep by now. I can't sleep, Brian. Where's the woman? I need her to read me a bedtime story. Oh, she's busy with the blood drive. Maybe I can help. How about I read you this book? It's called Apathetic George. George used to be a curious monkey, but after a month in captivity, all he did was wait for food. The zoo people wanted him... Don't mind me. I'm just grabbing a little cheese and vino. If anybody needs me, I'll be poolside next to my weirdly hot girlfriend with dark teeth. Wow, that wasn't so bad. See, Peter, and now you can have a cookie. Oh, awesome. Mm. Oh, oh, my God, these are delicious. What was you made these? Yeah, I found one of my grandmother's old recipes, so I thought I'd make a special batch for the blood drive. Well, I'm glad you did. These cookies are amazing. Uh, so I guess this is a thing now? Uh, yeah. No. Uh, awkward. <laughs> TV, that thing you used to watch. Oh, these are incredible. Hey, you know something? If we sold these, we could make a ton of money. Maybe we should open our own cookie store. There's my handsome business partner. Now we can't be late for our meeting with the bank. That's so cool you guys are going to open a business. Yeah, well was the right thing to do, Peter. Hey, dude, can you pass me a speck of spaz? Sorry, bro, all out. You want a cube of fruish? No, I'm not into fruish. I got a tear of laser dragon. Can I handle that? I don't know. Can you? Come, what the hell is going on? Uh, I don't know what to do, you guys. The cookie shop is tanking. What the hell? <laughs> Peter, what did you do? I saved our business. And don't worry, I only hired women whose names are cookie-related. Lois, meet cookie, sugar, spice, cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. Hey, where's the... Probably strippers. Because of their names. The business guy in this boardroom. It couldn't be that tan, long-haired guy with the white linen pants, could it? It is! And now, to my amphibious sky submarine! I have way too much money! I can touch my head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Stop it! No, you stop it! Getting old. Is that it? I guess what I'm trying to say is, I was wrong to choose sexiness over my wife. 
Live from New Where? York City, it's the J.C. Penney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The J.C. Penney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love, Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. Peter, we've got a house full of people coming, and they're expecting a turkey. Well, if they're expecting a turkey, I'll just put on Evan Almighty for them. <laughs> Zap! You and Brian better get another turkey right now, and don't bother coming back until you do. Don't worry, Lois, we will. Yeah, we'll be back with a turkey faster than you can say Jack Robinson. Oh, crap, looks like they're completely sold out. Yeah, sorry, we just sold our last turkey to that guy. You are the turkey I have chosen to pardon. Fly free, turkey. <laughs> oh, fudge sickles. Chris, are Brian and your father back yet? No, and why are you saying that? What type of shit? See, that's what happens when you try to release an already dead frozen turkey off into the wild. Usually just immediately murders the first person that drives past him. A dog's name before dad's. It's weird. That is weird. You're right. Well, they better get here soon. I can't host this Thanksgiving dinner on my own. Hear that? This thing's all on you. What? What are you talking about? Well, the fat man's never going to get back in time. And with him gone, that makes you the man of the house. Hi, uh, do you have any turkeys? Sure do. You're looking at one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to know me to know. I'm just joking. Sir, the day we've had, we could use a good chuckle like that. You folks are in luck. Looks like we have one turkey left. Oh, thank God. Oh, you're telling me. If we didn't come back with a turkey, Lois would be mad at that time she got a cap smear. Okay, you know what? I'm in charge of the turkey. You're driving. This thing on? Yes. It's not making any noise. It's a hybrid. Trust me, it's on. No, it's not. See? <laughs> Mother! What? <laughs> Peter, what the hell? You chose a turkey over me? I almost died! I swear to God, I thought dogs could breathe underwater. All right, Chris. Acting as host will demand a higher level of conversation. I suggest, as your opener, Lois, everything is delicious. Then that's what I will say. Unless Slender Man commands me to say something else. Ugh, this is going to be a bigger disaster than Y2 Gay. Well, that's where you're wrong, Brian. Free bus bike! <sighs> oh, crap, this is a girl's bike. All right, we'll ride it, but pray to God nobody from school sees us. Nice bike, butt munch! Shut up! I'm telling Miss Bumbakis! Come on, keep pedaling. Dinner starts in an hour. Oh! Damn it, Peter! Oh, great. You broke the chain, and now we have to walk. Unless we hitchhike. Okay, buddy, you ready to test out those hosting skills? Now go wow your guests with conversation. Hi, Grandma. I got some down there hair now. Wanna see? Uh, <laughs> I should check if your mother needs help in the kitchen. I can't believe we got robbed. Yeah, but can we just talk for a second about how brave I was when we walked past that cemetery? Peter, do you not see that we are completely screwed here? And it's all thanks to you. You drove my car into a lake, you almost let me drown, you got us thrown off a bus, you broke our bike, and now you've gotten our turkey stolen, and Thanksgiving is ruined, and we don't have any transportation, and we're still miles from home. I am done. This isn't even my problem, it's your problem. You know what, Peter? You've got no turkey, and now you've got no friend. Goodbye. Oh, wait, wait, Brian, wait! Now let's watch a whole bunch of eggs. We stopped being a team when you framed me for eating that turkey with you. Brian, maybe you should be a little less mad at me and a little more mad at the guys growing mustaches for this month. Hey, don't mock Movember. Last year I raised $8 and got on a BuzzFeed listicle. No! You use real words! Internet stuff is not real words! Hey, Lois, thanks for letting Kevin bring his girlfriend this year. And I hope it's not awkward that she's a little person and they viciously fight all the time. Why do we have to spend every holiday with your family? Shut up! I'm a full-size person! I make the decisions! Don't you worry. This'll quickly turn into rough front yard makeup sex. No! Oh, the rails no. are off this thing. All right, Chris, this is... 
That's actually the exact opposite of what we want. Well, at least what I want. Who as host need to step in and... Chris? Chris? What the hell? Are you drunk? I couldn't handle the pressure, Stewie. We Irish? We have a deep sadness. Oh, come on, get up! They need you down there! It's okay. I guess I've been kind of a jerk, too. I'm sorry I yelled at you. Eh, I deserved it. I mean, for God's sake, I sank your car in a lake. And I broke this guy's neck just now. Yes. But hey, we cut the legs off him and dye him brown, we got ourselves a turkey, right? Now, I wasn't planning on doing this today, but when I look around at all of these open, loving faces of friends and family, I'm comfortable enough to finally say that I am a proud, unashamed, active... Lois, we're home and Thanksgiving is saved! A live turkey who loves rollerblading! Our dog drew that. Peter, we can't eat a live turkey! Look, Lois, I still got time to make this right, and I'm gonna. Hand me a nine iron and show me to the backyard. I couldn't do it. What? I'm sorry, Lois. I know you wanted the perfect Thanksgiving. And I know I screwed that all up for you, but when you think about it, isn't this holiday about being with people you love? I mean, does it really matter what we eat? <laughs> the man of the house killed the turkey for Thanksgiving. Well, looks like we're having turkey after all. Damn it. Monica's not responding to any of my texts. You're still trying to bang that 44-year-old? What are you sending her? Mostly porn. Just shots of rods. All angles. Up, down, left, right. No. Lois, no. maybe you could help me ask out this woman I met. She's close to your age, but she won't respond to any of my texts. Oh, well, that's easy. Just ask her if she's all caught up on This Is Us. She says, I'm one behind, so no spoilers. Hysterical laughing face, hysterical laughing face. I, how, how is that funny? It's not, but you're in. Great. This is exactly the stuff I need to know. Lois. That would actually work in real life. Is that troubling? Could y'all put in the comment section down below, like, what lie I gotta know to just be able to slide into the... Just, just... Just say something to, hey man, you've been watching, uh, what's stuff that young, attractive females watch? What's that thing that of age, bad females watch nowadays? Will you teach me the ways of the middle-aged woman? Alright, I'm a sucker for romance. Thanks, Lois. This could open up a whole new world for me. Like one of those kids who gets a device that allows him to hear for the first time. Billy, can you hear? Yes! Amazing! This is amazing! Your mom and I are going to get a divorce. I'm in love with someone else, and I didn't want to say it with the silly hands. Oh. What? Brian, I've been doing research on my big wheel. If it ended up in the ocean, it most likely has traveled to Garbage Island. What's Garbage Island? The other name for the North Atlantic Garbage Patch. An enormous cluster of man-made debris floating in the middle of the ocean. This is terrible. we got to raise awareness, let people know about it. I agree. It's like a giant garbage whirlpool. Brian? You heard me. Anyway, I'm heading there to find my big wheel. Perhaps you'll come with me. Boating to an island of garbage? I'm in. Maybe Peter will come too. Hey, Peter, want to go on a boat ride? Oh, uh, I can't be in stories for a couple of episodes. I'm real life pregnant. Oh my god, I had no idea. I know! Anyway... Mama's got to get off her feet. No. 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 All right. Time to retrieve my big wheel from Garbage Island. Let's do it. Hey, how'd you get the money to rent this boat anyway? Oh, I got a part-time job at Target. Okay, technically I work at the weird in-store pizza hut. The Target in-store pizza hut. Feed it to your fat kid while you buy off-brand tennis shoes. I, I thought he was going to say something um, something else that I'm not going to repeat now. Because it's not, nah, y'all, it's, it's bad. Now, Glenn, I'm going to help you get into the mind of a middle-aged woman. Step one, we all go friggin' nuts over Yankee candles. So to help you learn all the flavors, I made a little quiz. 
I'm gonna give you a name, and you tell me if it's the name of a Yankee Candle or a porn star. Okay. Black Coconut. Porn star? No, that's a candle. Amber Gold. Candle? That is a candle. April Showers. Um, both? Very good. I tried to trick you there, but you got it. See, I got that one, too. I was like, because that's Amber Showers. I've, I've seen that, though, her... Both. Okay, okay, I'm writing this all down. But, Lois, Monica agreed to have dinner with me tomorrow. That's great! I suppose. But I don't think I can pull it off by myself. Will you come and just be nearby to give me tips and help me get through it? Fine, but I'll have to rearrange my schedule. Friday nights are when Peter and I do edibles and go to the aquarium. This is awesome. Peter, I'm freaking out. Don't, don't, don't ruin it for me. <laughs> okay, I spy something blue. Uh, the ocean? Yeah. Nope. No. The sky? What? what? Hey, you got it in two, bud. That ties the record. Stewie, I'm starting to wonder if we didn't think this all the way through. No, it's fine. It'll all be worth it once we get to Garbage Island. That's probably not gonna work. Not a lot of wind today. No. Hey, what causes wind? Well, if my reading material has taught me anything, it's just a cloud with lips. Mm. Blustery is a good word. Uh-huh. Mm, Moana. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I never saw Moana. You never saw Moana? I ain't never seen it either. Was it good? All right, I'm going to the store. Anybody need anything? Yeah, can you get me a chess set and a backwards hat? I got some inner city school kids I got to inspire tomorrow. Okay, Darius, point to the king. <laughs> That's right. It's you. Hey, Lois, doesn't uh, somebody have a birthday coming up this week? Oh, that's nice of you to remember, Brian, but frankly, I'd rather let this one slip by. I don't need to be reminded how old I'm getting. You know, it's funny. You keep so busy with your kids, time just seems to slip away, and then you turn around one day and you... Okay, bye. Stop making noise. Oh. Oh. You know, Peter, I know Lois is downplaying it, but I think she might actually appreciate it if we threw her a party. Maybe even a surprise party. That's a great idea, Brian. Yeah, I love parties. I mean, I had a great time at my baby shower. Well, after opening all these gifts, I could use a little wine right now myself. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> I'm sorry, my hormones are just crazy right now. <laughs> That's why I'm afraid of children. Do we? You want a mommy rocket ride? What? What do you mean? Here we go! Get ready for blast off! Oh, son of a bitch! Ah! Oh my god, Stewie, are you alright? Nice throw, Casey Anthony. <laughs> oh. oh my god, I hope the guys at Sears Portrait Studio will be able to retouch this. What am I saying? Of course they will. They're Sears. Yeah, you'll be alright. Just tell people you fell. And then tell them that your mom pushed you. Call CPS on me. What the deuce? Well, hello there. I say, you're a cute little fellow. Tell me something, what do you think about Rose McGowan? Yeah, she makes my turtle head go in too. How about Michelle Rodriguez? Yeah, me too. Kinda, right? You know, yeah, she... just a little bit. Just a little bit. Eh? She's got like a cute tomboy thing, where you feel like you could play softball with her, and then later on give her the old sausage. I like you. I can tell we're going to be good friends. We've got that unspoken bond that all bald guys have. Oh! I thought he'd never leave. Me neither. No! No! Oh. Yeah. Ah! Oh, did you guys just do the thing? Who wrote that? Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, you guys, that was Lois. She's going to be here in ten minutes. 
Dad, how did you get Mom out of the house so we could decorate? Well, Chris, I constructed a very elaborate fake grocery store. Oh, my God! Are these pickles really only 39 cents? That's right, ma'am. Wow! <laughs> this is incredible! What the hell's going on here? <laughs> Wily e. Coyote there, man. She's gonna die in the desert now. <laughs> and over here are my toys. This is my fire truck, my slinky, my silly putty. You know, silly putty's awesome, but you know what's really cool? Serious putty. Oh, this looks like fun. It says I have cancer. Dewey, better come down. The party's about to start. What is that? Is that a turtle? Yes, Brian. I found him at the park. I named him Sheldon. Oh, and get this. I brought him home today, and coincidentally, this is the day Rupert started working out again. So transparent. Rupert, what happened to your eye? Brian, did you pull one of Rupert's eyes off? No, why would I do that? <laughs> Alright, so what y'all gotta understand is when he says that Rupert started working out, he basically means that Rupert feels like Stewie is cheating, is about to smash the turtle. So in order for Stewie not to leave Rupert, Rupert started working out. Disturbing. Maybe your turtle did it. Nonsense! Sheldon is a gentle soul. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Well, come on, let's get downstairs. Lois will be here any minute. That's actually really messed up. Bruce Jenner is a man. No, Brian. That's what the press would have you believe, but he's not. Bruce Jenner is a woman. An elegant, beautiful Dutch woman. Stewie, I'm telling you, there's no way Chris is gay. Oh, why? Because he never hit on you? God, the ego. Hey, Chris, what's up? I'm just relaxing, listening to some of Charles Manson's music. What's up with you guys? Actually, Brian and I are taking a survey, and we wanted to see if you had a few minutes. Sure, go ahead. Okay, question one. What night are the Tony Awards? Tony Danza has awards? <laughs> Name an appropriate price to pay for jeans. Um, five dollars? Yep, that's the, yep, that's What real. year did Bette Midler release You've Got to Have Friends? Oh, Who 1972. Cares? No one And knows. it was fabulous! Not necessarily gay, just a fan of good mother. Chris, are you gay? What? No, I'm not gay. Well, then why didn't you go out with that girl? <laughs> why would I? I have everything I need in that department on my computer. You have 28 windows of porn playing simultaneously? Sometimes I pretend I'm at the security desk at the mall, and everyone at the mall is banging each other. Chris, don't you see? You're so desensitized by all this porn, you're, you're not even interested in actual girls. What are you doing? I'm taking this, and we are going to help you start thinking about sex like a normal teenager. All right, I'll give it a shot. But it's not going to be easy. I had a hell of a time getting off sugar. Chris, can you pass the syrup? Oh, you want the syrup, old man? Yeah, nice attached head, Meg. Body, throw potatoes. Oh. Went and declared. Oh. All right, Chris, it's going to take a few steps to get you off hardcore porn. Now, the first step is softcore porn, where nothing really happens. What? Oh, wow, she is just right in that guy's belly button. Yep, that's all we had. And you could watch this at any time? No, just Friday at 11.45 p.m. And it was free? No, $45 a month. Well, what was playing the other 200 hours per week? Uh, mostly Daryl. The movie Daryl. Was it any good? It was okay. Grandpa, what are you doing here? Using the bathroom. Where do you keep the nets that you put on the bottom of guy's balls to stop him from dunking in the water? What? What? What do you mean, what? Where do you what? keep the nets that you put on the bottom of guy's balls to <laughs> stop them from dunking in the water? What's all this? 
Well, a lot of kids' first foray into sex is looking at someone else's porn stash. What? So here's a stack of water-stained Playboys that I found in a locker. That's not water-stained. That's not what I fell for that. I fell for that when I was a kid. Town pool bathroom. Okay, now we're talking. Wait, I'm clicking on this thumbnail, but the video isn't opening. No, that's a still image. So you look at them, and then your brain sort of creates a scene for you. I don't know. I think maybe we should try something else. I think you should give it a shot. I think we should all go investigate the still unsolved murder of Doris Billingsley, who never did anything but overcook one dinner in March of 1962. That is very oddly specific. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. Also, make sure to get the merch that is in the description down below me. Twisms.